trying to do like my best like history channel this beer you know that's my history channel impression yeah something like that i don't know anyway hello and welcome guys to friday beer reviews got another drecker one for you we got chunk sunday sour this one is mango and marshmallows pardon me in my speech impediments um this one, we love Drecker. We love their sours. I, at least I do. I think a lot of people that know Drecker do. Um, I decided to keep my hair freaking crazy because, well, you know, these beers are pretty crazy. So I'm going to stir it up in case it's settled a little bit here. Make it uh, extra. Whoa. Yes, look at that. It is like... It doesn't seem as thick as these ones normally have been in the past, but eh, I digress. It doesn't matter. Thickness doesn't matter, right? It's about how you motion of the beer shin. I don't know. Let's get into this one. Mm. Oh, yeah, it smells. It smells kind of graham crackery, like a couple of other ones I've had in the past, but. Uh, mm. My god, that's delicious. That is an absolute treat. We got uh, malts in here. Pale, two-row, careful. Hops, Magnum, Hollertow, Blanc. I've had those ones before. I'm not sure the flavor profile. I don't know how they lend in this, but here we go. Flora. Mm, I don't know what that is. Lactobacillus culture. House ale yeast. Gimmicks, of course. <laughs> Mango, marshmallows, lactose. Definitely lactose. You definitely get a lot of that lactose in this. At least I'm picking up a bunch of it. Boy, howdy. I dig this. Contains a significant amount of fruit, so please keep cold at all times. Yep. See, that's that's the other problem, too. Is like You go to like Total Wines and crap, you find stuff like this like sitting on the shelf. It's like, no, you can't. You shouldn't. I don't know. <sighs> Why would you? So this one is in December, so this one's not that old. I don't really care. It's not an IPA. I don't think it's going to age that poorly. It doesn't say the alcohol by content volumes. Uh, according to Untapped, it's a whopping 7.2%. Holy moly. That's good. Oh, oh, oh. So this drink's super smooth, super simple. Um, the... There's no bitterness, nothing like that. Getting a, I, I think I'm getting some hop flavors coming through, but uh, I'm not entirely certain. Um, I'm just getting a ton of like, a ton of like orangey mangoiness. Like it's a ton, like it's a lot. And then you get a, some sweetness, which I'm guessing has something to do with the marshmallows and the lactose. A little bit of sweetness, not overwhelming, not. Uh, it's not going to stop a guy like me from drinking it, but maybe if you're, uh, maybe if you're my boss, you might not drink it so much because he hates sweets. He's just too sweet. Oh, mm, sweets, <laughs> yuck, gross. But this one, I dig a bunch. Um, it's it's got a good blend. Like if you were, I wonder what this would be like if I put some like, uh, um. What's the word for the champagne? That's a champagne inside here and had a, like a beer mosa in the morning. Oh man, I should totally try that sometime. That's a great idea. That might actually be really good with this because it does have a lot of that breakfasty kind of aura to it. But at the same time, whoo. You could have it for a dessert too. Anyway, I'm getting really distracted. I like how they call it a sour smoothie slash pastry, which, yeah. Remember kind of how I was saying it kind of has that graham crackery kind of almost texture like you're just having like a, like a graham cracker with some, maybe some fruit like sliced up on it or something like that or a nice kind of like cobbler or something similar. Um, maybe a Danish or something like that. That's uh, yeah, that, that's kind of what the, kind of this beer is kind of like, but in liquid form. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Oh, but seriously, I like this beer a lot. I like these. It's a good treat to have. It's a palate cleanser almost, if you will. Um, just kind of wipes everything clean and all of a sudden you're like, hey, let's try something else. 
but this is, I don't know, I like this Chonk series, I'll definitely go back to it. I don't know where my Chonk is, he's probably upstairs one dinner or something like that, but there's a little kitty on the front of this can, so. Oh man, oh man. Uh -uh. You notice how the head just kind of went away, like immediately, and then you're just kind of left with like the fruit kind of sticking to the outside of the glass. It's just, ah, that's how you know you're drinking a good beer, right? Mm, something like that. <laughs> Guys, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about Drecker and their crazy sour stuff. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so delicious to me. Um, I can't wait to go back up to Fargo and visit them and hang out there again. I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's so much fun. Make sure you make the trip yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you've made the trip and been there. Um, otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, share, that crap. You know what to do. Otherwise, I'll see you next week, guys. I'll we'll try and find some better beer for you. Better? Oof, that's tough. Different beer. Um, otherwise, thanks so much for watching and hanging out to the end. Appreciate you. Take it easy. Be well.